take your time to understand the world and put yourself at risk and you understand who you could be. Exactly know what you would like to do first. Put yourself a goal, say, I would like to achieve this position. If it's achievable in the next five or six years, do it before anything else. You can follow your dreams, but you need hard work, you need courage, you need network, you need to create your own opportunities. Really reflect on what you want and be very open about where you want to go. You just have to make it known that you want to do that. Sometimes it's just as simple as asking and saying, what do I need to do to make that next move? Don't be afraid of asking. Don't be afraid of uh, asking for more. Don't be afraid of saying, okay, I did it, what's next? But then I see that I find women who are just like putting frenos in their life, like, how can I do it? How can I organize it? How can I see it? How can I analyze it? We always want to be uh, perfect and we always have a tendency of focusing of the two or the five little percent that we haven't done. And that's good because this is how you reach the top. If you focus too much on them, then suddenly you start to look at yourself and feel, oh my God, I'm not good enough and I'm not, and then you lose confidence. And so I think to have that, that inner confidence, you can succeed on your own merits and on your own strengths. La primera que debes creer en ti eres tú. Si tú crees en, tu, en tus valores, en tu talento, en tu trabajo, en tus ideas, vas a convencer a quien te escucha, a quien te contrata. Por lo tanto, cree en ti. No vos reprocherá jamás de rater. En revanche, no vos reprocherá de no essayar. Osez, allez vers votre risque, restez humble, pragmatique, mais no hay ninguna razón que vous n'y arriviez pas.